The giant African land snail. A species of large land snail that is native to East Africa, but it has been widely introduced to other parts of the world through the pet trade, as a food resource, and by accidental introduction. Though not the largest snails in the world, these creatures are fascinating nonetheless. Join us, as we learn a little more about this magnificent species. The adult African snail is around 2.8 inches in diameter and 7.9 inches or more in length, making it one of the largest of all extant land snails. The shell has a conical shape, being about twice as long as it is broad. Either clockwise, dextral, or counterclockwise, sinistral, directions can be observed in the coiling of the shell, although the dextral cone is the more common. Shell coloration is highly variable, and dependent on diet. Typically, brown is the predominant color and the shell is banded. The giant African snail is native to East Africa, and can be traced back to Kenya and Tanzania. It is a highly invasive species, and colonies can be formed from a single gravid individual. In many places, release into the wild is illegal. Nonetheless, the species has established itself in some temperate climates and its habitat now includes most regions of the humid tropics, including many Pacific islands, southern and eastern Asia, and the Caribbean. The giant snail can now be found in agricultural areas, coastland, natural forest, planted forests, riparian zones, scrub and shrublands, urban areas, and wetlands. The giant African snail is a macrophytophagous herbivore, it eats a wide range of plant material, fruit, vegetables, lichens, fungi, paper, and cardboard. It sometimes eats sand, very small stones, bones from carcasses, and even concrete as calcium sources for its shell. In rare instances, the snails consume each other, snail eggs, and other deceased small animals such as mice and birds. In captivity, this species can be fed on a wide range of fruit and vegetables, plain unseasoned mince, or boiled egg. This species is a simultaneous hermaphrodite, each individual has both testes and ovaries and is capable of producing both sperm and ova. The testes typically mature first around 5 to 8 months, followed by the ovaries. Self-fertilization is not viable and therefore snails require a partner to reproduce. Snails typically mate with a snail of similar size. During the mating, the snails either simultaneously transfer gametes to each other, bilateral sperm transfer, or one snail transfers sperm into the other, unilateral sperm transfer. Snails mate at night and their mating begins with courtship rituals that can last up to half an hour, including petting their heads and front parts against each other. One snail initiates the courtship, and if all goes well they begin copulation. However, copulation does not always occur because snails show mate choice behavior, and observations have shown up to 90% of attempted courtships were rejected and did not end in copulation. Copulation can last anywhere from 1 to 24 hours, but tends to last 6 to 8 hours. Transferred sperm can be stored within the body up to 2 years. The snails are oviparous and lay shelled eggs. The number of eggs per clutch and clutches per year varies by environment and age of the parent, but averages around 200 eggs per clutch and 5 to 6 clutches per year. The eggs hatch after 8 to 21 days and the snails emerge as juveniles. They reach adult size in about 6 months, after which growth slows, but does not cease until death. Life expectancy is 3 to 5 years in the wild and 5 to 6 years in captivity, but the snails can live for up to 10 years. So, what did you think of the giant African land snail? Has anyone ever seen or owned one? Leave a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.